Welcome to Homework Help uh, for Wednesday night, August 29th, 2012. Absolute value and opposites. What is absolute value? Well, to start off with, let's write in a definition of what absolute value is here. Okay, I'm going to zoom it in just a bit so that I can write well. Okay, absolute value is uh, the distance number is from zero. Okay? Um, and that basically explains what an absolute value is. Uh, let's move on to this next part here. What is the absolute value of the following? Okay, so you're supposed to find the absolute value of each of these numbers. Don't circle one of these. This is not a multiple choice. Um, so I'm going to do uh, problem B. And if I say, what's the absolute value of negative 8? Well, negative 8 is 8 spaces away from 0. So the absolute value of negative 8 is 8. Um, and then here we have evaluate uh, these ones. So again, each one of these you have uh, you have to evaluate what the absolute value of 7 is, negative 4, what the absolute value of 4 is, and negative 3. So I'm going to do uh, problem L, since I did it similar to problem B. Uh, here I'm finding the absolute value of 8, which is equal to, well, it's equal to the distance 8 is from 0. Well, 8 also is 8 spaces away from 0. Okay, so be sure and do uh, all 6 of these and all six of these and also answer uh, or write what an absolute value is and then over here in the graph we need to complete the following table of values and then graph it okay so here we're plugging in a value for x so this one oops I have my pointer there this one goes in for x what's the absolute value of one so essentially we're just finding what is the absolute value of 1? Well, the absolute value of 1 is 1. What's the absolute value of 3? Of negative 3. The absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Okay, I've done 2 for you. You should be able to do the rest. I'm going to graph this first point here also. So um, this first point is 1, 1. So I put in 1 for x. And I go 1 to the right, and then 1 for y, and I go 1 up. So I then place a dot right there. That's my first point. Then for this one, negative 3, comma 3. I'm going to go negative 3 along the x-axis first. We always go left or right first, and then up or down. And then I'm going to go up 3. So my point will end up, my point will end up over here. So I'll put a dot there. And in graphing all of this, you'll find that the values should create a V-shape graph, or dots that align that could align in a V-shape uh, if you connected them with dots. So if you did that correctly, it should appear that way. So be sure and find the absolute value of each of these numbers, and then gra uh, graph those points here on the graph. Okay, uh, moving on to uh, the bottom half of the homework. What is the opposite of a number? So again, here you're supposed to write what is the opposite of a number. I'm not going to give this one to you. But then here it says what's the opposite of the following. So finding the opposite is different than the absolute value. That's why we're showing them both to you at this time. So let's find the opposite of two of these numbers. Um, we'll find the opposite of... Uh, uh, negative 12 and 12. Okay, well, the opposite of negative 12 means if you take the negative sign, the opposite of a negative 12 is 12. You just find its opposite. Well, what's the opposite of 12? Well, that would be negative 12. Okay, so be sure and do all uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 all 14 of these problems and then again you will be graphing on this graph and this time 
as you can notice, we're graphing the opposite of x. So whatever you put in for x, find its opposite. So I'll do the first uh, couple. So the opposite of negative 1, or I'm sorry, the opposite of 1 is negative 1, and the opposite of negative 3 is 3. So I'm going to graph those points. So 1 comma negative 1 would go 1 comma negative 1. That would go right there. Um, and so I'll put a point there for 1 comma negative 1. And then for negative 3 comma 3, I'm going to go negative 3 on the x-axis and then positive 3 on the y-axis. So that should end up over there. So we'll place a dot there. So you should continue doing the same with all of these points. So find its opposite and then graph it. Find its opposite and graph it. Find its opposite and graph it. Okay, we'll move on to the back side now. Okay, this is for page two of the homework. Um, uh, let's see here. This, uh, so we're doing teeth now. Oh, yeah, this is teeth. This graph shows how many teeth a group of second grade students had lost. Okay, and you have the name. So this is how many teeth Ping lost, Samir, Angel, Laura, uh, Franco, and Amani. So Amani lost three teeth, Laura lost nine teeth, Ping lost six teeth, so on and so forth. There's nothing listed here for Tori, so they ask us here, number one, Tori lost four teeth. Show this on the graph. So you have to fill in the amount of bars that would correspond to four teeth for Tori. Okay. Uh, number two, how many teeth did Franco lose? Okay, so here you have to write in an answer for how many how many teeth Franco lost. Okay. Uh, on problem three, which student lost the greatest number of teeth? So here we want to find out of all of these students, which one lost the greatest number of teeth? Which one has the tallest gray bar? Okay, uh, number four, how many more teeth did Ping lose than Imani? So here's Ping at six, here's Imani at three. So you want to show us how you can figure out how many more teeth Ping lost than Imani. Okay, a hint there would be to use subtraction. Um, <clears throat> and then let's see here, uh, how many, oh, we did number four, number five, how many teeth did the students lose in all? So here we're going to actually have to look at our graph and see, count up how many teeth everybody lost, including Tori, because you should have uh, shaded in how many teeth Tori lost and write that answer here and then explain how you figured it out and you have to show your calculations okay so this is where the points lie if you don't fill out uh, this area down here with explanations you're not going to get any points for this stuff up here so we're interested in you explaining to us how you figured this out okay good night and good luck go bears Rawr!